Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's Barry here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. And the reason I want to talk about it is because a lot of people, when this video, when the trailer came out, they were so confused on well, is it, how is it going to connect to the other games, and well, it's not. This was confirmed last week when the trailer was announced and revealed, but is that a good thing? And I think it is, because we haven't had a Modern Warfare game in since, for how many years now? It's been a long, long, long time. Now, the reason I think it's a good thing that this is not connected is because those games are old. Eight years old was the last Modern Warfare game to come out. And I mean brand new. I don't mean a remaster or any of that. You're watching a remaster, but what I mean is brand new story. Never seen before. Now, another thing is, the reason I don't think it worked is because the Russia Invades US thing has been overdone. It was has definitely been overdone. I, I've seen it. We've seen it too much. I mean, Battlefield 3 had it. Battlefield 4 had it. I mean, even I mean, oh, God, Modern Warfare 2, 4, and Modern Warfare 3 all had it. Russia Invades the United States. I mean, Battlefield games have. COD games have. A lot of other first-person shooters that took place in the modern era had China or Russia invading the US, and that just doesn't work. Like, it would work, but it's been overdone to death. This game's going for a more realistic tone, and COD 4 was more realistic than the other two, in terms of, like, how it could, I, could, have act, could actually have happened. And it's not as balls-to-the-wall action movie. Since this game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, is going to be more, per se, I guess, I could say action-oriented, but it's not going to be, it's going to be more story-focused. It, the story wouldn't it wouldn't make sense in order to do that and there'd be a lot of odd things another thing I want to touch on is the things we need for this game to for the in the campaign to succeed first off we need a field of view slider at least in the multiplayer if it is possible in the campaign it'd be nice but we need it in multiplayer especially if it's going to be crossplay which is I think it will happen it is crossplay they will do that. Now, one more thing is, I did want to say, um, with this new COD game coming out, whiz, is it best to just fresh restart? Do some guns we've seen, but some weapons we have never seen before? I think that'd be a pretty good idea. Let us see some weapons we've never used before, but I don't really know what people would want. I know I want is that for the game to definitely never be connected. I want Modern Warfare Trilogy to be a trilogy. I don't want it to be a quadrilogy. Quadrilogy? Yeah, I don't know exactly what it would be called necessarily, but I don't want to see that. Now, one thing I do want to see is the whole uh, announcer situation with Captain Price not being connected, being the same voice actor. A lot of people are confused why that is. Well, it's because it's a new story. It's it's never been told before. That's why he's a different voice actor. The, and they also, the person who played him is like 60, 70. I don't remember who played him. I can't remember the exact age, but he's around 60, 70 years old. I don't think it really worked well. I just, I just wouldn't think it would. But another thing is, I do want to say, do you want to see more campaign videos this upcoming year? Because I love realistic first version shooters. Do you want to see more COD this year? with the campaign and multiplayer and the special mode, or do you want to see multiple games such as Insurgency Sandstorm, the battle, the new Battlefield, Battlefield 4 or Hardline or 1, Battlefield 1 or 5? Do you want to see some GTA maybe? Do you want to see maybe some Destiny I can do? What else? Um, no Man's Sky, Star Wars Battlefront I can do, Rainbow Six Siege, which I've thought about getting a, starting up a series on that, but I haven't done it yet. I've had thoughts about it though. Another thing I wanted to ask you guys about was do you want to see more speculatory videos for Modern Warfare Mastered or do you want for Mon not Mastered, for the new Call of Duty game or do you want to see just some gameplays before the game on Black Ops 4? I need I just just leave it down in the comments below so I know. But another thing but back to Modern Warfare, why the why a lot of people are not a lot of people. Some people have actually asked me, why is the game $60 if it's not going to have that many, I guess, stuff with it? Because there's not exclusive. So what's the point in buying it on this platform and that platform? Well, why would you get, I guess per se, why would you get Fortnite on this platform? 
which is this platform. It's just preference, since it doesn't really matter since crossplay's coming. It wouldn't necessarily matter completely which one you'd have. Now, one another thing about it is, when this game comes out, I will not probably will not be able to have a video out instantly. I know I won't. I'll try to get. I'll probably stream the night of it release once I get home, but I can't promise anything like that. Another thing is, do you guys want to see a best class setup for the Lynx or the M4 A1 Carbine or the M4 Carbine and the AK-74 U on Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Master, which is what you're seeing in the background right now. If you do want to see that, let me know in the comments below. But with that out of the way, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Sh it's kind of a shorter video. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.